Welcome back to Eye on LA. There was a time when social status and formality defined when and where you wore a hat, but now hats are popular accessories, creating a growing fashion trend in LA. So hats off to this local store known as the Hat Makers of Hollywood. It's definitely a very popular trend right now. I've seen it increase over the past, uh, I'd say five years, I've seen a significant amount of people wearing more, more hats all the time. You know, it's a really becoming uh, quite a fashion statement, actually. Part of the appeal of putting on a hat is that it can make you feel like a different person, help play up your mood, or simply accessorize your outfit. But hats are very magical. They do something special to a person. They just change. It's got a very special attitude that it gives you. Mark Mejia, a master hatter by trade, first became captivated by hats when he was eight years old. His neighborhood of Maywood, California, served as a backdrop for a movie, and that experience left a lasting impression on him. I have a passion for hats. Decades later, in 1983, he found himself working under a well-known master hat maker, Eddie Barron. It was here at Barron's Hats in Burbank where Mark learned the intricate art of hat making. It's one of the few hat shops that is very diversified. I'm a hatter by nature, but I'm also a milliner in this, in this sense that I make women's hats as well as men's hats. We do a lot of very unique things. I mean, we make hats for animals. We make soft caps like uh, Old Gatsby's or Big Apple caps, you know, period pieces, a lot of different styles. I mean, it's endless. What makes this shop special is their unique method of customizing each hat by using antique machinery, a craft that's practically extinct. These machines are 80, 90 years old. We have been uh, gathering these uh, different types of specialized sewing machines and these hat blocking machines so we can have the best product possible. A lot of these machines are very specialized machines that have been brought from different parts of the country. They all have a very specific function that is necessary in the process of making the hats. Each machine has a specific way of perfecting the design of a hat to create very distinct looks. That's called a hat blocking machine. and It um, pulls the brim and stretches it um, to the width that we want, depending on what product we're making. And it also dictates the hat size. There's a whole set of brass rings that dictate the head size, and that's the beginning process of how actually the hat's made. Hand blocking is the process of making a hat all by hand. We use steam and we use a raw material, uh, a felt and or straw primarily, and we soften that material up with steam and we shape it over a specific block, whatever shape that might be. The brim pouncer and it basically uh, finishes the brim of a hat and gives it a nice smooth finish. And the other one is called a crown pouncing machine. It kind of sands the hat, so the actual hat has a nice beautiful feel to it. Whether your preference is a Panama, a bonnet, or a fedora, the common thread is Baron Hats has a hand in every hat. Custom made from, from the ground up, hand blocked, hand stitched, hand ironed, all the ribbon, all the, the bows. It was under the original hat maker Eddie Baron when Hollywood discovered Baron Hats. And when Mark took over the shop, he soon became known as the Hollywood hat maker. We worked on a lot of different movies. I mean, it's a, the list is, is, is endless. We worked on some hats for Disney. Gangs of New York, there's a lot of hats in that movie. Seabiscuit was quite a, quite a challenge. We had uh, made 25,000 hats for Seabiscuit. Baron Hats also helped make movie magic in iconic films like the Rocky series. You know, one of the most famous movies of all time was Rocky Balboa, and uh, we, they put our hat in the Smithsonian. And films where the hat helped define the character. The Mask, that's one of the most popular movies, wide brim yellow hat, you know, and the feather that went in there. They also added to the old world charm of this year's multi-academy award nominee, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. That's what we all this hard work is for. I mean, we want to see them succeed. But for this Hollywood hat maker, handmade hats are not only for stars. Since the economic downturn, Mark has seen a resurgence of customers wanting to restore an old hat or for the fashion forward, age a new one. We do refurbishing of hats that have been in dire need of some TLC. We, a lot of times we have for movies is we have to age the hat down so it looks like it's been worn for 100 years. Creating something from nothing and, and then seeing it on the big screen and then uh, for the general public, you know, to see them walk out with a smile on their face, pretty magical. Mark says they've also made specialty hats for music superstars like Madonna, Janet Jackson, Prince, and Britney Spears. If you'd like a custom-made hat or for information, just go to the INLA page at abc7.com and we will link you.